Good morning, good morning, good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, whenever I get this video posted. What am I making you for you today? Oh, it's Friday, so that means recipe Friday. I am going to make show you how to make enchilada casserole, but I'm going to tweak the recipe a little bit, and this is out of an old um, cookbook. So let me turn the camera around and let me show you what I'm going to do and how I'm going to tweak this recipe. So the first tweak that I'm going to do on this recipe, it calls for a package of tortillas and these need to be cut up, but I'm going to go ahead and cut them up, but I'm going to cook them a little bit and just see if that brings it more flavor. Um, so let me cut the, get these cut up and I'll bring you right back. So now I've got my tortillas cut up. I'm just fixing and getting everything ready. Um, it calls for one onion chop. Well, I'm going to do two onions since my onions are small and I'm going to be putting them in a big bowl because they will be mixed with, um, some soup here in a little bit. So let me get these cut up. And get those going so with the chopped onion which I've got it all chopped I'm not a very good cutter chopper whatever we need to add a can of the um, El Paso chilies oh and remember uh, chili fest is coming on hosted by me and you can even use you don't it don't have to be like a soup chili you can use these and be your chili recipe. So, and there will be seed giveaway, a seed giveaway. So, we got to mix that in with the onion along with a cream of chicken soup and a cream of mushroom soup. So, I'm going to put those in there and then I will get that mixed up and I will set that aside before we go and fix the other ingredients, I still got to cook the tortillas. So the next step, which in reality, this was the first step, but I kind of did it backwards. You need to brown some hamburger, about a pound of hamburger meat. And I am using deer burger. So, but you can use, you know, hamburger meat. This may be good with sausage. I don't know. This is my first time making this. Get this all browned up. Then, get it all brown and mashed up. Weird. I should have, you know, I would have figured the onions would have gone in here with the other stuff. But, nope. So, we got to get this hamburger meat brown. Which, deer burger. Um, get it all brown. And that is the this recipe will be below if you want to try it. Uh into a lot of casserole, like I said, it came from an old cookbook. I think I don't know, it was like a county cookbook. Um might have been in Oklahoma. I don't know where it came from. I mean the book came from. Uh, my husband's mama gave this to the book to him. So I just decided, I've seen it, I'm like, oh, okay, let's try a recipe out of it. So we have a recipe uh, for you guys. And so I'm going to let this brown, and I'll come back where we need to add the other ingredients and my another tweak that I'm going to add to this recipe. Now that the ground beef is brown, and I've drained the grease off, I need to add a can of enchilada sauce and you're supposed to use taco sauce but I got another can of enchilada sauce that needs to be used try not to get the lid in there um, so that's my little tweak let me stir this all up Probably need another scoop. And for my tweak, I'm going to add a jar of black beans that have been drained. And these are my own home canned ground beans. 
I mean black beans, not ground beans. Uh, anyway, so let me, now it's time to put everything together. Let me clean up a little bit, and then I'll show you how to make it. So let's put this enchilada casserole together. Very first thing we need to do, we need to layer it with tortillas, our cut up tortillas. And then we need to put our meat sauce on here. Layer it with like that. You want at least two layers um, according to the recipe. Now we've got our meat sauce. Now we need to put on our um, our soup mixture. Let me move things around. I have a small kitchen. Whoop, 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 small kitchen, y'all. So bear with me. So now we need to add our soup mixture on top of that. This has our onion in it um, and our cream of mushroom soup and our chilies, which are the mild ones. Uh, one of the enchiladas, which should have been probably taco sauce, was um, medium. So we'll see how that goes. So, and I got my oven heating up to 350. I'm kind of making a mess in my kitchen, but hey, that's okay. So, the next thing we need to do, after we got our cheese, our that on there, we need to do another layer of tortillas. And you kind of get the gist right here, uh, just a layer of tortillas, and then we will do the meat sauce and the cream. I mean the cream of mushroom sauce and sorry about the noise uh, neighbors are moving hay out so next thing we need to do after we put the layer of tortillas is to um, this is one package of tortillas all cut up and I browned them um, just in a dry skillet now I need to add the rest of the meat sauce to this and then we will be adding the um, cream of chicken onion mixture and then I'm going to put another layer of our tortillas because I got enough and then I'm going to tweak it one more time. At the top before I put on, I'm going to put some lovely cheese I'm going to put another layer of tortillas that's all the meat sauce and all that so let's get this and this is full y'all this is so cool uh, this is my tweak uh, now I'm going to add my tortilla chips or tortillas cut up tortillas that looks like a chip itself then we're going to put it in a 350 uh, degree oven and we're going to let it cook for 30 minutes Mine will probably be 20 minutes um, because I cook in a toaster oven. Um, so make sure this is all pretty much all covered. This will probably be brown, but that's all right. So now we have extra chips. Hubby's going to love that. So I got to put this in the oven now. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Chips are good. Put it in the oven and let it cook for 30 minutes. But since mine is a toaster oven, I will probably put it for 20, 25. So, 